everybody. Welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, today's topic is make wise choices. Make wise choices when it comes to your relationships. All right, before we get started, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of the new viewers, all of the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, those of you who are new to the channel, I will answer your relationship questions. So at the end of the video, I'll show you a link where you can send in your questions and I will either answer them privately through the email or I will share them online with the collective. And it can be your decision. Now, those of you who are interested in these caps, they are available in my online store and you'll find a link in the description. Now it's time for today's affirmation. And we do these affirmations every day to help you with your spiritual growth. And here it is. I am listening to my intuition and being guided every step of the way. This is a powerful affirmation. I am listening to my own intuition and being guided every step of the way. You know, um, every day I, I do my walk and I walk about 30 to 45 minutes every day. And during my walk, I repeat my affirmations as I'm walking in my mind. I am listening to my own intuition and being guided every step of the way. This is so powerful. Let this be in your spirit today. And let this affirmation be a blessing to you. Let's say it again. I am listening to my intuition and being guided every step of the way. Now it's time for movement. And movement is the second part of the exercise we do every day to get our blood circulating and help us to feel good through the day. All right. Now today we're going to do some arm exercises. And here we go. What we're going to do is this. All right. And today we're going to do five of them. All right. Here we go. One. All right. Two. All right. Three. All right. Four. All right. Five. Now, how did that feel? Did that feel good? All right. Now, we're going to do this one. And we're going to do five of these. Here we go. We're going to do this. Bring it up and bring it back. All right. We're going to do five. All right. So, breathe and sit up straight. Here we go. One. Bring it back. Two. Reach up. There we go. Three. All right. How's that feel? Four. Bring it back. And one more. Five. All right. Now shake it out. Shake it out. These movements really just get your blood circulating. And really, it will help to tone up your body <laughs> and just make you feel your best. All right. Now let's dive into the message today. And the message was inspired by a letter that came in. Make wise choices. All right, here we go. This letter is from a young lady. And she says, I started my spiritual journey and began my celibacy. But shortly after, I was evicted from my apartment and moved in with a friend that I was previously intimate with for two years. Okay, now, <laughs> your spiritual journey 
didn't have anything to do with your eviction. That was probably already on the table when you started your spiritual journey. Okay? All right. I decided that I only wanted to be his friend because he wasn't trying to commit to me. All right. Now, you decided to move in with a friend because you didn't have any place else to go. All right. Now, realizing that this friend probably allowed you to stay with him because he's thinking he's going to get sex. Okay? That's usually when a man will invite you to stay with him because he's looking for sex. All right? Our situation looked like we were in a relationship, but we weren't, meaning that you weren't sleeping with him. Okay. He says it's because I can't have any more kids and he wants a child. I really think it's more to it than that. He invited us to stay with him for a while. I agreed because he's a co-applicant on the apartment I was evicted from. And I didn't want him to think I'll leave him with that debt. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Um, you say here that you agreed to move in the apartment with him for one reason, because he's a co-applicant on the apartment that you were evicted from. I guess he was a co-applicant to help you get the apartment in the first place. All right. So now you're saying you went back to him when you got evicted. But here you say, so I'm here with my friends trying to do what I can to get this $15,000 bill paid as soon as I can. Well, you know, $15,000 is not a small sum of money. So it probably would take you some time to pay that bill, although you're living with him. Okay, and I don't know what your living expenses are. Is he charging you to live with him or what? But $15,000 is a huge bill to pay. All right. I don't look at him the same way now that I'm not intimate with him. It has been one of the most uncomfortable experiences. I bet when he's wanting sex and you don't want to comply, but you're living in his space, I suppose, for free. <laughs> All right? He's always trying to be intimate with me. Of course, knowing I'm on a spiritual journey and I'm committed to my celibacy, well, then you need your own place. You don't need to be with him influencing you all the time. He said he doesn't agree with my decision to be celibate. Of course not. But I don't care how he feels when it comes to that. I've been trying everything to get a place to live in my daughter's name until I'm able to get my own. I, <laughs> I don't know about that. Getting credit in your daughter's name. I, listen, I don't agree with that, but you're desperate and you're trying everything to get your own place. All right. But getting in your daughter's name, I don't know if that's a good idea. Why ruin her credit? You see, everything I do fails. I don't have anywhere else to go. I've tried the local housing authority and nothing is available. I'm working my second job to pay off this bill. I am so miserable and feel so worthless. I often feel like this is my karma. Do you have any advice? I sure do. I sure do. You are on your spiritual journey. I hope that that means 
You know, if you're listening to me every day, you're getting your affirmations. Now, I hope that you're doing your meditations. During your meditation time, focus on your desire. And your desire should be to be self-sufficient. To, to be able to support yourself and your family. And your daughter, your family, your children, whoever, whoever you are responsible for in your meditation, you need to focus on that. Focus on building your own support and not with somebody else. All right. If you are diligent in your meditations. And elevating your frequency. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction. Your own intuition. Just like we talked about in the affirmation today. Your intuition is your spiritual guide. And your spiritual guide will lead you to freedom. But you need to stay on the path. You need to be diligent on the path. And you really don't need to be with this man who's going to be badgering you about sex all the time. He's trying to break you down. Be steadfast in your belief and continue to listen to your intuition because your intuition will lead you in the right direction. That's my advice to you. Don't give in to him for as long as you can. You see, I don't know how long you've been there. But my advice to you is to meditate. To meditate and ask for answers. All right? And every day you'll get stronger and stronger and stronger. And go outside into nature to ground yourself. You see? That's important because being in nature increases your power. It increases your power. So, I hope you understand that. And it works. It works. Continue on your spiritual path and don't let anybody turn you back. You know, right now you're in a hard situation. I don't know if this is karma for you or not. It may not be. It may be something that you have created. Yourself. You see? So, to turn it around, you want to create something better for yourself. So visualize yourself in a better situation with you and your kids. Okay? Don't visualize a man coming to rescue you. But visualize yourself in a better situation. In the, in the situation that you want to be in. That will make you happy. And be positive. As much as possible. You see? And this raises your frequency. So that you can have your desires. Alright? Continue on your spiritual path. And don't allow anybody to turn you around. And your blessings will begin to flow. Alright? Okay. Now we have another letter here, and this letter is about tarot readers, tarot readers, all right? Now, I pulled a video on this, and um, it's talking about the uh, Akashic Records. And uh, just to give you a little information, a tarot reader is tapping into the Akashic Records, and these are records that are kept about your past, your present, and your future. And that's why they can read what's going on with you. Because some of these readers are extremely gifted and they can tap into these records. All right. So let's look at this letter and see what she says. I wanted your input on tarot readers. You know they are all over YouTube 
and some of them practice spirituality. Well, let it be known that they do channeling and also speak of meditation. And I just wanted to get your opinion on tarot readers. Okay? Like I said, now, not all tarot readers are gifted readers, but some of them are, and some of them are real. Just like we have false prophets in the world, we have false tarot readers too. All right? So you really need to use your discernment if you consult a tarot reader. All right? Okay. Now I was in a 10-month relationship with a guy I met after being single for eight years to find out he was on crack and a bisexual and Lord knows what other secrets. I kind of saw the gay tendencies after a while. He told me the sex was terrible. I told him his private part was little, which it was. So for months, we didn't have sex. I just wasn't attracted to him sexually, but I was attracted to his companionship. For hanging out, going places, we had so much good social connection, which I think that was what I fell in love with. Yeah, he was a good friend, a good friend, and I love friends. In fact, I put more value on friends than lovers, really. Let's see what else you say here. We still had a connection, but he began to push me away for drugs, for one thing I know for sure, but finally broke it off. But to the tarot reader, when I did get a reading, the lady said he was gay and on drugs, which shook me because I didn't mention those things. But anyway, to make a long story short, what's your intake on this situation? Apparently, the tarot reader told you what was going on with him about the drugs and that he was gay. All right. And you picked up that he was probably bisexual. All right, so what do you do? You made a bad choice. Leave. Leave him. And don't look back at him. All right? But if you were on your spiritual journey, you probably would have detected these things before you got intimate with him. And don't be so quick, ladies, to be intimate with these people and then find out the bad news later. You want to find out before you get intimate with them. That's why this video, make wise choices. Take your time with people. Don't jump into the intimacy because this is what the man is going to be pushing whenever he meets you. The intimacy. Because this is the man's motivator. Sex. You see? Sex. And then he'll want to come over to your house and eat. His second motivator. Sex and food. Okay? And he will use you out for those two things. And ladies, don't allow it. Take your time when you meet somebody. Get to know them. And don't be quick with the sex. Hold it off as long as you can. I say hold it off a year. That's what I say, because then you'll get to see this person in all sorts of occasions. You can see how he is with his parents, how he is with other people. Is he generous? How does he handle stress? Is he an angry person? Does he care about others? Is he empathetic? You can see all these things about a person if you just hold off on sex. This is the key. All right. Now, um, because this letter was about the terror reader, and I did mention 
the Akashic Records. And I did pull a video about it. So watch this video. And then I'm going to tell you something else about the Akashic Records. Okay, here we go. The Akashic Records are viewed as the universe's supercomputer, holding all of the data about everything that is known to exist. They are said to be a sphere of energy that materializes simultaneously everywhere and contains all knowledge of the past, present, and future. Each component of this universal field has a unique energy field that can interact in a variety of ways. The Wi-Fi network and the Akashic Records have been compared. Although we cannot see it, we are aware that it surrounds us. Although it is hidden from sight, if you connect to it, you can access a limitless amount of information. Did you know that you could go into the Akashic Records and ask questions about any relationship in your life, past, present, or future? It doesn't matter if they're platonic, intimate, romantic, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you want to know. It doesn't matter what you want to ask. You can go to the records and you can find the answers to all of it slash any of it. For example, you can go in and you can ask about why you chose your parents in this lifetime and what that lesson is that's meant to be learned there. If it's a relationship that's not serving you in a positive manner, you can find out why this person is in your life. If you're in a relationship and you guys are going through something right now and you don't understand why this is happening or why these patterns keep repeating over and over and over and over and you keep having the same argument, we can go into the records and we can find out exactly why and what needs to be done. If you have somebody in your life that you feel such a strong pull towards, you can go into the past lives and figure out what these lives were in the past that makes you feel so connected to them in this lifetime and what that means. What are you guys supposed to do together in this lifetime? If you have some major life decisions coming up in your near future, like collaborations in your business or starting a family or moving to a new place, we can go into the records and we can find out what is going to be in your highest benefit on your highest timeline. Can you even imagine what it would be like to have those answers? To have an understanding as to why people show up the way that they do, to have an understanding of whether or not moving to this new place is going to be in your best benefit or not. To understand if collaborating with that person you're thinking about collaborating with is actually going to be highly beneficial to you before you make these decisions. All right, now that you know what the Akashic Records are, and for those of you who want to know more about it, I recommend that you read this book, The Akashic Records Made Easy. All right, now, um, this is a clear and simple guide to the incredible philosophy of the Akashic Records and the ways in which they can improve and transform your life. All right. This is powerful information. Unlock the infinite power, wisdom, and energy of the universe. All right, people. I'm pretty sure that you can find this book on Amazon and add it to your spiritual collection. And this way, you'll know uh, where the tarot readers and the channelers are getting their information. It's all in your Akashic Records. All right? Okay. Now, I really hope that the information today can help someone. And I really hope that it helps you to make wise choices. Do not be pressured into making any choices when it comes to your relationships. Take your time. Be observant. Be honest with yourself. Love yourself. And trust your own intuition. I hope that the message today really helps you to understand the power that you have inside and you can make your wise choices from the power that you have. Now, for those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, here's the link. Send your questions to Miss Faye's World, YT at Hotmail.com. That's Miss Faye's World, YT at Hotmail.com. And try to keep your letters to one page 
Just summarize your situation and ask the question. And if you prefer that I answer your question privately through the email, just put it at the very top of your letter and I will comply. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. And to show my appreciation, I will be giving away a deck just like this one to one of you lucky subscribers. And this is the I Am Affirmations deck from which I have been choosing for our daily affirmations. It is a 53 Oracle card deck that will go out to one of you lucky subscribers once this channel hits 100,000. And I will be announcing the lucky winner right here on the channel. So keep watching and good luck to all of you. I want to thank you so much for your comments and your letters. And a special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you well and much happiness. And I really hope to see you next time.